Hello. Hello, I'm Evan. And this is Brent. Mm -hmm. And we're here for Culture Shock. We sure are. Uh, what is our subject today? Today we're talking about love hotels. Love hotels. Indeed. Time Ooh. for some Barry White. <laughs> so there's a lot spoken about love hotels and a lot of misinformation out there. So I thought mm. today we'd explain exactly what a love hotel is and where they came from and all those sorts of things. So these are hotels that are rented out by the hour instead of by the night. Now why might you need a hotel by the hour? I can imagine a few scenarios. And that would be a good set of reasons for it. <laughs> um, now that is kind of, again, the, the obvious thing. About 2% of the Japanese population visit love hotels every night. Every night? Every night. About 2% of the Japanese population is in a love hotel. Which tells you that it may, it might, there may be more to it than the expected uh, reason for it. So the first uh, love hotel was called Hotel Love. Hotel Love. It was set up in Osaka in 1968. Hmm. Now, we were talking about this before. The 60s were a time where a lot of things changed in Japan. Peace and love. Peace and love <laughs> and a lot of things. So what was the big thing that happened in Japan in 1960s that uh, the world might remember? Well, wasn't there an Olympics there? There sure was. And so leading up to the Olympics, there was a lot of modernization, a hmm. lot of expansion. The first bullet trains were brought online oh. for, the, for that. So uh, Tokyo Tower was, was built for that. So... Um, as Japan modernized and as they had all this infrastructure all of a sudden, um, there was a lot of uh, new influx of ideas and a lot of change in culture. And so uh, Love Hotels grew out of this thing, actually goes back many, many years, many decades, to um, early uh, Japan where you would have roadside hotels and, and restaurants and things. There was this whole other thing in Japanese history about uh, travel, which we can't get into here, but there, there were a lot of hotels. Hmm. So um, you'd have these hotels 